Hello, Max. I wanted to see if I could help you out doing an install here. So, basically, we start her up. You'll see a testing system, and you want to do Command tilde real quick, and that'll take you to a next prompt. And I've got my installation floppy, which we're going to go ahead and pop in, and my next step, install CD. And the way I have these configured, you'll see there's jumpers on the back. And I have this configured to SCSI ID6. Uh, on the hard drive, this is an ST1480N. I believe it's set to SCSI ID1. And you can see it's amazingly quiet. Um, I've been doing everything now on these uh, little uh, SCSI 2SDs, which are great. So now the whole computer boots off that little chip. But this one's in good shape. I know that's what you're doing to restore it uh, correctly. So uh, we've got the SCSI cable. And what I do here is I get a power splitter. So it's a Molex 4-pin. And it's got the power splitter so I can power up both the CD-ROM and hard drive. Then I use the internal 50-pin connector with the multiple cable and I plug it in to both the CD-ROM and hard drive. So from there we're at our next prompt to get the installation started CD's in, floppy drives in, type in BFD for big fucking deal. Just kidding, it's boot floppy disk. And that should get the uh, <laughs> that should get the install started. <clears throat> Now what it's going to do, it's going to look for CD-ROM drives. So you'll see the little message CD-ROM, and if it says no CD-ROMs are hooked up, something's wrong in the configuration. CD-ROM may not be configured right. In this case, uh, I've got the hard drive terminated, but whatever device you have at the end of your SCSI train should have a termination jumper. So now we're going to see it find the Seagate hard drive and the SCSI hard drive. It did find next step 3.3 as you can see. And then, winner winner chicken dinner, it should bring up the root device is now the CD-ROM drive, which is great. So we had to do the bad, what's called the bad magic. And we're gonna start an install. So we'll do English. You can choose different languages if you like here. So press 1. And we'll see the startup disk is now that 411. So I'm going to press 1 again. Yes, we want to go ahead and uh, do that. Option 2 is for advanced, like if you have two different drives hooked up. And then to start installing next step. Boom, 1. And now what it does is completely blowing out everything that's on that drive, which is great because there was lots of networking voodoo and somebody had actually named the drive Lucifer. So I definitely wanted to put the kibosh on that. <laughs> so now we're putting Satan to rest. The install started. And uh, it'll take probably 15 or 20 minutes from this point. So it'll go all the way through the install. And then uh, just kind of follow the on-screen instructions from there. Hope this helps out. And have a great day.